Hello everyone, I want to show you our Vertex Pavilion project, the plotable arched structure with triangular section. The research study presented in this paper focuses on the potential of a fissor light plotable structure with straight bars to create compact light and cost effective solution for temporary shelters and emergency architecture. However, most of the design proposals to present date have only been explored regarding their conceptual and, morphology and morphological design. Our research group strongly believe in using a scale one by one prototypes to gain a full understanding of the potential and structural efficiency of this structure. The Vertex Pavilion structure was proposed a pilot prototype for emergency and temporary architecture. The prototype was fabricated and tested by the master architecture student and the lab at Nottingham Trent University, a school of architecture design and built environment, as part of a workshop on the plausible structure conducted by the SMIA, Structural Morphology in Architecture Research Group. The vertex pavilion was comprised of three deployable arches. Each deployable arch was made up of 27 straight scissor light units. When unfolded, the triangular scissor light units deployed to create three arches. The arches were joined to each other and ground level and secured in place using three bases. Finally, the arches stability was secured at the upper level by the tension force of the textile membrane. With the use of the Rhinocero software and Gashopper plugin, the design was parametrized. The arch of the triangular section was formed by the pair of straight symmetrical bars and two pairs of asymmetrical straight bars. The deployable model of the triangular section was grouped linearly in the direction of the curvature given by the asymmetrical of these bars. The number of the model to from a deployable arch will depend on the asymmetrical of the model. The prototype was carried out with the support of the model and manufacturing laboratory of the School of the Architectural of Nottingham Trent University. In this place, the student have the opportunity to mechan mechanicians the wood to make the bar of the arches and build the joints with the PVC tubes for the initially tests. The construction of the arches and the final erection of this structure was made in the courtyard of the School of Architecture, Arkwright Build. During the process, each of the pieces was manufactured and the three independent arches that made up the final structure were built. For each finished art, tests of movement, stability and verification of breaking of each wooden bar were made, all to guarantee to stability and rigidity of each arch. The assembly of the final structure was carried out in five hours, taking into account two assembling steps. The first step was to draw the geometry on the prototype in the terrain and install each of the arches in the reference point. The second step was the installation of the membrane using the inner ends of the symmetrical bars of each arch and anchors for the membrane. In this chart video, you can see the entire design and manufacturing process of the prototype. You can see the parametric design process by one arch and by all prototypes. And then, with the help of the student of Nottingham Trent University, you can see here the manufacturing process. And finally, the testing of the first 
erection and ensemble process. Arch by arch and using every security step for uh, make the balance and the stability and rigid structure. Finally, the prototype was adapted to enter the competition and exhibition of the last expo force, form and force in the International Association for Shell and Spatial Structure in Barcelona in 2019. The installation time was 30 minutes included the bases and 10 minutes in the disassembly. The prototype weighted 70 kilograms and covered an area of 12 square meters. Thank you for your attention.